fingertips. Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. I was actually on my way to see the paladins. There's little chance of that. Since the paladins made themselves at home in the upper end of town, hardly anyone gets in there anymore. I'm not telling you anything new. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? Me? Nah. I don't have much say here myself. There are a few people in the lower city who have enough influence to get you past the guards. Mateo, my boss, is one of them. Maybe you should talk to him. Where can I find Mateo? You're standing right outside his shop. Just go on in. He's practically always there. What about the other influential citizens? The merchants and master craftsmen here on the main street are the most important figures in the city. You should try to get accepted by one of them as an apprentice like me. Since I started working for Mateo, the people in the city treat me with respect. I'm in enough trouble as it is. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. His shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. Tell me more about the peasants' revolt. It's quite simple. Onar, the fat landowner, won't pay any more taxes to the city. Imagine, we're at war with the orcs, and that fat slob wants everything for himself. Normally, the city guard would take firm measures in such cases, but now comes the best part. They say Onar has hired mercenaries to keep the troops from the city off his back. Mercenaries! The whole thing will end in a damn war, as if one war weren't enough. That's not what my husband thinks. What do you know about Onar's mercenaries? I heard that most of them are former convicts from the mining colony. And their leader's supposed to have been a big shot with the king, a general or something, whom they put away as a traitor. These are terrible times. Show me your wares. Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. There's nothing you can do about it. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. Where did you pick that up? Don't tell me you didn't know that. Who says things like that? It's just like you said. What can I do for you? What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards have come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. 
I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladin seized your goods? Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather, still unused. Interested? Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. So can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. You shark. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But? In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Where could I sign on as an apprentice then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Harrod the Smith, Bosper the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. How do I get the approval of the other masters? You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance. So behave yourself. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. It's not what I heard. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Corinus? I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. I'm looking for work. 
Hmm, I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. I want to start as your apprentice. Before I take you on, I need to know, of course, whether you're any good at all. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh, well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard. Show me your wares. See that. I can't help it. It can't go on like this forever. Ah, fresh face. You're not from Corinus, are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? He doesn't see that. I 
What do you know about the Paladins? Not much. They arrived by ship two weeks ago from the mainland. Since then, they've withdrawn to the upper end of town. Nobody here really knows exactly why they have come. Many are afraid of an attack by the orcs. I suppose, however, that they are here to quell the farmer's rebellion. Do you know anything about the peasants' rebellion? Rumor has it that Onar, the landowner, has hired mercenaries to keep the king's troops from breathing down his neck. He was probably tired of having to throw his harvest along with his livestock at paladins and militia. All we notice of this in town is that the food prices keep rising. Onar's farm lies far to the east of here. We wouldn't know if there's any fighting going on there. And if you want to know more, ask the merchants in the marketplace. They get around the island more than I do. I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Well, if you mean, do I say my prayers regularly? I see. A man who does not ply his trade with the blessing of the gods will never receive my approval. Ask for the gods' forgiveness for your transgressions. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adonos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Innos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks. That way, I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break. And there are plenty of thieves about in Corinus, especially lately. Have you had an apprentice before? Yes, and not too long ago. And what happened? His name is Elvridge. He's my nephew. I was quite pleased with him, actually. But one day, he simply didn't show up for work. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. How long has it been since you saw him? I guess it must be about two weeks. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinus without a decent job. Is that so? I've come about Gritta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the moneylender, just to settle her debts. And now this. Gritta should be in the house. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. New in the city, huh? I'm Brian. I'm Master Harrod's apprentice. Nobody will learn anything. What's it like to be the Smith's apprentice? Why do you ask? You want to be my successor? Maybe. Why not? 
I'm almost done with my apprenticeship, and then I'm gonna leave the city. But not because of Harrod. He is a good master. I have learned a lot from him. Why do you want to leave this town? Because the people here are getting on my nerves, above all the other masters. I still remember what a fuss it was getting accepted as an apprentice with Harry. Really, every one of them jokers had something to say about it. I want to decide for myself who I can or can't take as an apprentice. Who are the other masters? Well, there's Thorpin the Carpenter, Bosper the Bowmaker, Constantino the Alchemist, and Matteo. He sells armor, but first of all, he's a merchant. All the masters have their houses here on the street, and Constantino's shop is in the underpass to the temple. Tell me more about Master Harad. He's not in a very good mood right now. A few days ago, the paladins came and ordered him to forge some swords for them. They've even forbidden him to sell swords to anyone else. Now he slaves day and night to finish the job as quickly as possible. Do you really believe that? Can I buy weapons from you? Not really. I'm merely an assistant. The weapons that are made in this smithy are collected by the militia and taken to the towers where they're stored. But if it has anything to do with forging, maybe I can help you. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. Hey, you! I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice. Provided the other masters agree. Let's talk again about that orc thing. What? Your orc is as good as dead. Good. Then stop wasting your breath and let your deeds speak for themselves. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? 
Yes. Go to Vatris then. He'll patch you up, all right? And stop bleeding over my floor, please. the day in which the beast would return to the land. And Adonis be with you. Who are you? I am Vatris, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? Indeed. This is an important message you are bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? Well, that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the Paladins. What is this message? A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the Paladins. The Necromancer? So he lives, and he sent you. Who are you really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons have come to conquer the country, and you have come to report this to the paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. What must I do in order to join the Ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the Ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the Ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the Ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. I have vanquished the sleeper. Isn't that a great enough deed? My ears hear many a tale these days, including the story about the banning of the beast called the Sleeper. I have not heard that this was achieved by a single man, although your eyes tell me that you are convinced you did this. That confuses me slightly, but I cannot be sure that my senses might not deceive me sometimes. I have freed many people. The barrier is gone. Even if you can really claim responsibility for that, the great event in the Valley of Mines has not only set free the water mages and other upright citizens. All the criminals of the entire country are roaming Corinus these days, harassing the population. The bandits have already taken over large areas of land outside the city. It has become all but impossible to leave the town and return unharmed. So what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, 
You shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However... Yes? You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will. No doubt about it. Provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the City Militia, the Monastery of the Fire Magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. About those missing people. Yes? Where should I start looking for them? Most of those people disappeared down by the harbor. That's probably where you should start your search. Let me tell you what I know. What have you found out? Nothing important so far. Tell me about the Ring of Water. Since you are not yet a member of our community, I cannot tell you everything, of course. But I shall tell you what I may. Who are the members of the Ring of Water, then? I cannot tell you that until you join the Ring. But you will certainly have met some of them by that time. Where are the other water mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinus. We suspect that those ruins might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you're interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Satyrus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. What exactly is it that you do? We stand between the Order of Innos and the Chaos of Beliar. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. And what does that mean in concrete terms? The fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats. The bandits are probably the most obvious one. Not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town, too, who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from a weapons merchant in Corinus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. About this weapons dealer, how much do you know about the weapons dealer? Ask Martin, the Provisions Master of the Paladins, about this. He should be able to tell you more. He has been tasked with unmasking the weapons dealer. You can find Martin in the Harbor District. If you see a heap of crates, provision, and paladins, Martin won't be far. I used to say that myself. Is there anything that could help me with my search? You're a very persistent young man, but I actually can think of something that could make your tasks easier for you. I shall give you this ore amulet. You'll certainly be able to use it. It is an amulet of the searching Will-o'-the-Wisps. There are only very few of them. The Will-o'-the-Wisp that inhabits this amulet has very special properties. It can help you find things that normally elude the naked eye. You summon it by simply wearing the amulet. If it loses its power or you cannot find it, 
Simply put on the amulet again and it will reappear. The Will of the Wisp can detect weapons. It could be very helpful to you in investigating the weapons deliveries to the bandits. Treat it well and it will never fail you. A Will of the Wisp in an amulet? Will of the Wisps are admirable creatures. They consist of pure magical energy. They are bound to the magical ore in this world. It is their origin. It gives them their strength. I'm not surprised that you've never heard of them. They only appear to the person who bears the ore to which they belong. Will of the Wisps living in the wild have been forcefully removed from their sources. They will attack anyone who approaches them. There is no way to help those pitiful creatures. You would better stay away from them. He thinks it's as easy as that. Can the Will of the Wisp do more than that? More than look for close combat weapons? Not unless you teach it. I think Riordian knows how to teach these beings. He is one of us, currently traveling with Satyrus. Perhaps he can tell you more. Thank you. I shall take good care of it. Been there, done that. Nobody will learn anything from me. I've got no time for things like Can you heal me? Adonis, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. Wait. If you see Laris, give him this ornament and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it. He would have never thought of that himself, you said. I've got no time for things like that. If he doesn't see that, I can't help us. Hey, you! Well, what have we here? Have you no manners? Same That's disgusting. Always oh, this filthy rabble. Haven't you a job where you ought to be? But I suppose no one would miss a down at heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. I asked you who you are. I am Valentino, the handsome. Bon vivant and ladies oh, man. True. Poor in cares, rich in wisdom and gold, and the That's women throw themselves at me. If you have problems, keep them. No I don't need like them. That. I'd have done it differently to believe everything you hear. It was his Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. Doesn't matter to me. Trash me all you want. When I get up tomorrow, I'll be fine again. But you'll have to run around with that mug of yours for life. That's all just gossip. It was his decision. Really? How interesting. That's all just gossip. That was no big deal. That's not what I heard. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now, except for the rich people from the Upper Quarter. What's wrong with them? Yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. Yeah, I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it. They couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. 
Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this fella that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. What is it with this Valentino? He's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end, and then early in the morning he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. Uh, go find some work, preferably with a craftsman in the lower part of town. Uh, yeah, uh, that'd make you a citizen. Well, uh, and if that's still not enough, go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe he'll let you join the city guard. They can go into the upper quarter, too. That's been known a long time. Show me your wares. That's all just Don't gossip. say you didn't know that. How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Tell me that isn't true. Someone's got to do the work. Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern, halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know where there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. was obvious all along. And that's the truth. Bosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did, but he was only interested in his blasted hides. I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Is it really well, true anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can you tell me anything tell else about him? <laughs> Bosper had one of his bows stolen recently in broad daylight. Some guy just walked into his store, took a bow, and left. The thieves are getting more and more brazen. He really should have known better. I witnessed it myself. So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well, it's a curious story. Only a few days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's Tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. There's more, believe me. Where does one get swamp weed reefers? Somewhere down at the harbor, as far as I know. That isn't true. Everybody knows by now. Didn't you go Is looking for him? No, but I reported it to the militia. But no they haven't been able like to find him yet. I hope he didn't get attacked by a wolf, or worse. I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> Why don't we go hunting together? Uh, with two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Bosper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Here they are. He listened to the wrong the first time. Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. Business. No one really wants to hear that. That's the first I've heard of it. 
Hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here, we found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. Really? How interesting. That's not what I knew. That would be a problem. Gee, I'd never have thought of that myself. Very funny. What did those guys want from you? Ask them yourself. You've got them safely locked up, haven't you? No, they're dead. I guess we'll never know then. If you're in some kind of trouble, go talk to Lord Andre. Maybe he can help you. You'll find him in the barracks. Customer, what can I do for you? I have a few questions about the city. Tell me about the town. Corinus is one of the wealthiest cities within the kingdom, even if it doesn't look like it at the moment. But since the Orc War started, trade has almost come to a complete standstill. The king has requisitioned the entire merchant fleet for military service. Which means that hardly any ships come into the harbor now. So, the supply of goods is very scarce now, and many citizens of the town are very worried. Nobody really knows what the future will bring. There's basically nothing we can do but wait and see what happens. It's not like we can change anything. Where can I buy something around here? The market is directly in front of the door. You should be able to find everything there. There are a few more shops and craftsmen on the other side of town. Most of them are near the other city gate. Also, there's a fishmonger in the harbor district. His shop is right at the harbor. He's easy to find. I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Why do the Paladins pay for everything? I don't know what that's all about either. For one thing, I think they want to get all the poor suckers off the streets so they don't make any mischief. And for another, they want to get on the good side of the traveling traders. Now that the farmers are rebelling, we have to rely on the traders for provisions. Besides, I think they want to improve the morale in the city a bit. Lord Andre has even arranged for free beer to be given out at the Gala Square. Who's staying here at the moment? Almost all of them are traveling traders from the market. Aha! Don't even think about messing with their stuff. I don't want any trouble here. Hey you, I have a proposition for you. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me, but she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. What's in it for me? When I have the stall, you will get a weapon from me, and a damned good one. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you, because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. All right, looks like I've got no choice. 
You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to foist the letter on her? Let her show you her wares. And while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city. So don't try to play me for a fool. He can't keep anything to himself. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Welcome, stranger. My name is Baltrop. Have you come to stock up on food? I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. I don't have much in stock right now, but I'll be getting a new delivery soon. Have you got a job for me? No, I already have an errand boy. Try the other merchants. Show me your wares. An open secret. He can't keep anything to himself. He'd better shut up. How's business? When the paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity, but they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Haka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the paladins are paying my hotel bill. He'd better shut up. What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. An owner, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they'd simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. That's what I've always said. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm, but I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. Show me your wares. That's what I've always said. I won't tell her a thing. That's not what I heard. Don't tell this to anyone. That's what I've always said. That's gonna get even worse. You don't say. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Now that's typical, isn't it? I can't take care of everything for everybody. I don't believe that. He can't keep anything to himself. He simply talks too much. Honestly, I witnessed it Who myself. Who says things like that? He simply talks too much. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Show me your wares. He can't keep anything to himself. I won't tell her a thing from now. Now that's typical, isn't it? That's not what I heard. That's not what my husband thinks. Someone's got to do the work. He can't keep anything to himself. But that's terrible. And it's going to get even worse. I can't take care of What him. can I do for you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? Do you want to direct a prayer to our Lord Enos, or donate some gold for his church? That's not what I heard. Go away, don't tell me that. I need to talk to the paladins. Can you help me get to them? Well, you need access to the upper end of town. However, this is allowed only to citizens and the city guard. And of course, to us magicians of fire. How can I become a fire magician? You must join our order as a novice. When you have served for a time, perhaps you will be accepted into the ranks of the magicians. However, the path to acceptance is long and full of work and study. Don't tell this to anyone. That's not what my husband thinks. I've come to get your blessing. That's good. That's good. Then you will probably want to donate gold to the holy church of Enos, won't you? Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an apprentice in the lower part of town. But my son, without a modest donation to the church, it is impossible for me to bless you. 
How else can I be certain of your good intentions toward the Holy Church of Innos? Who says things like that? That's what I've always said. But that's terrible. Someone's got to. So, how much does a donation usually run to here? Don't tell this. Well, that depends on what percentage you want to give, son. Let me see how much you brought. Don't tell me. Hmm. Hmm. You have more than a hundred gold pieces. The Lord says, "Give if you have." The church accepts your generous donation. I bless you in the name of Inos, for He is light and righteousness. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I won't tell her a thing from now on. Really, how interesting. Where do you come from? I come from the monastery of the magicians, which lies in the mountains. We accept everyone there who is pure of heart and feels the desire to serve our Almighty Lord in us. Tell me about Inos. Inos, our Almighty Lord, is the light and the fire. He chooses humans to be His tool, giving them magic and laws. We act in His name. We administer justice according to His will and preach His word. He simply talks to you. I don't say. What are you doing in town? I have discussions with the paladins and support the citizens with my advice and with helpful words. Particularly in these difficult times, it is our duty to be there for the people and to help the poor. Someone's got to do the work, and he works all day too. Who says things like that? Tell me more about the monastery. We instruct our students in all forms of magic, but the arts of the magicians of fire consist of more than these alone. We are also well versed in the art of alchemy and in the creation of powerful runes. <laughs> we also make excellent wine. And it's going to get even worse. Don't tell this to anyone. It's an open secret. Who says this? Inos be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Somebody stole from you. I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduced himself as Ringaru, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. That's an open secret. I could get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then, we'll talk about your reward. Everybody knows by now. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. That's not what my husband thinks. How much gold was in that purse? 50 gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. That's what I've always said. Show me your wares. That's not what my husband thinks. That's what I've always said. He simply talks too much. And it's gonna get even I am Hacker, the weapon stealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there because of the bandits, for one thing, and also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. Do you know anything about the paladins? Yes. 
Those guys are ruining my business. All you can buy in this entire town is a short sword at most. They've helped themselves to anything that's longer than a foot and a half. In return, I now get to live in the hotel free of charge. It's an open secret. Where do you get your weapons from? Harad the Smith has been my supplier up to now. Now all he does is make stuff for the Paladins. He works for those guys day and night like a madman. Without pay. He thinks it's his duty. All I can offer you now is my remaining stock. What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out, never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers where the militia keep their arms. I haven't seen him since, even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon, but Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. That's not what I heard. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city. And I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here. Follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. Someone's gotta do the I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? That's a dangerous business. Well, it's all right with me. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. Who says things like that? Show me your wares. You don't say. He had better shut up. That's not what I heard. I'm Zurus, Master of Potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. He simply talks too much. Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant. But he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. He always passes me when he goes out on the East Gate to collect plants for his potions. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the Eastern City Gate here and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles. Near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. Show me your wares. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Now that's typical, isn't it? That's not what my husband thinks. That's what I've always said. That's an open secret. Jorah says you've got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! Go away. Don't tell me that. Attention are to hand over their duties to the royal paladins effective immediately.
The Honorable Lord Andre is commanded to punish every crime or act of How strange. against the King's guards. It seems to me Sophia. that I have met every you before, Traveler. Is guilty of a crime well, is to report immediately great to are the Lord mysteries Andre. of time and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid bin Haji al Sharidi. I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer, and a purveyor of tobacco. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple plant is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But, of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed in producing a really good tobacco... How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist's bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps toward Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? Orcs. They are guarding an entry. An old tunnel. A valley of mines. Men in shining armor. A magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature. The flames, many, shall die. What is that? A city. Ruins. Quarhodron in Jagandar. He is summoned. Quarhodran in Jarkandar. I am sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. Can you make me another prophecy? Oh, son of the mysterious future. It is not within my power to live the veil of time. Only when time sends me another omen shall I be able to see for you again. When will that be? When the future has become present and you have continued your journey. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The security measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. The guards of the gate. Are... 
What do you want? I wanted to have a look around here. Then where exactly are you headed? What interesting things are there to see here? There's a, a cat house here in a tavern. The landlord's name is Kardef. If it's information you want, he'll be the right person to talk to. Do you, uh, need money, by the way? Are you giving it away? No, but right across the street here is the uh, house of Lamar, the money lender. Well, I'm sure he'll give you a few gold pieces. Just go ahead. Do you work for Lamar? Hmm, smart kid. Actually, I was on my way to the upper quarter. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was about to board a ship and have it take me to the king for an audience. People like you and me haven't been allowed in the upper quarter since the paladins came. Are you a citizen of this town? If you mean do I live here, yeah. But still they won't let me into the upper quarter. Mm, only the Toths can get in there are the merchants and craftsmen from the lower end of town. The people from the harbor district don't carry much weight in Corinth. There isn't even a regular militia patrol down here. Has anything exciting happened lately? Not long ago. The city guards turned the entire harbor district upside down. They were searching for stolen property. <laughs> there have been plenty of thefts here lately, especially in the better quarters. They're obviously trying to blame the poor suckers at the harbor for everything. What led you into this poor area? What are you looking for here? I'm just looking around a bit. Ha! Huh. Then you better not be caught looking around. It would seem that we have a few thieves in the city who would steal stuff from the rich people. The city guard recently turned the harbor district upside down, but they didn't find anything. What do you know about the thieves? Nothing. But all the citizens are scared and have become distrustful, particularly towards strangers. Don't get caught in strange houses. No one takes kindly to that. Yeah, you gotta protect yourself against thieves. A sturdy cudgel works best. Can you teach me anything? Oh, I'm forging a few fittings and nails and repairing iron pots. But I don't know enough about forging weapons to be able to instruct you. If you want to learn that, go see Harrod. He sure knows how to forge weapons. But if you want to train your muscles a bit, well, I can help you with that. How much do you charge for the training? Fifty gold pieces, and I'll help you to become stronger. Ah, you've come just in time. I'm in need of an assistant for a magic experiment. I'm sure you're eager to do me a favor for science's sake. Easy, my friend. First tell me what this is all about. I have developed a new spell, a spell of oblivion. I've already successfully carried out a few practical applications, but I don't have time to conduct one final test. What's in it for me if I help you? I could teach you how to brew potions. I know the recipes for healing and mana essences and for potions of great speed. Tell me more about the experiment and the spell. The spell serves to make somebody forget various events. So far, I have only found it to work when the person in question is angry, for instance, if he has been knocked down or robbed, even if he has only witnessed such a deed, 
he will scratch it from his memory. So I'm supposed to knock somebody down and then put a spell on him? Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So you should pick somebody who's by himself. If there are other people around, you'll just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Wait for the right moment. All right, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. Fish here, fresh from the depths of the sea. It was his decision, wasn't it? Can you tell me something about those missing people? Missing people? This is a harbor, pal. Things like that are bound to happen. The sea is treacherous and bound to claim a life now and then. Captains of large vessels will always sign on new sailors in a large seaport such as Corinis to complete their crews. And if they don't find any volunteers, some people may get dragged off against their will, and then they're gone. Are you missing someone? Me? No. That's what I've always said. That was obvious all along. Do you know of anyone who's gone missing? No idea. Ask the shipbuilders. Everybody knows by now. What ship would that have been? Good question. Not many ships have come into Corinus lately. That is true. That was obvious all along. Now that's typical. No idea. You tell me. Show me your fish. Someone's gonna do the work. Look, ever change? can't take care of everything for everybody. And it's gonna get even worse. You listen to the wrong people. I can't take hey care you! For Where you going? No matter what your plans are, it's there'll be plenty of time later. You're right in front of the Pearl of Corinus, the Red Lantern. This is the most beautiful brothel in all of Myrtana, damn it. Sailors from the most remote corners of the world dock here just to spend a few nights in the Red Lantern. And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor of spending a night with Nadia, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, what are you standing around for out here? Go on in and meet our passionate Nadja. This hot creature of the night will give your life a new meaning. Someone's got to do the work. Are you the one who runs this place? I am Bromo, this is my house, and these are my girls. I like my girls. And if you like my girls too, then you'll pay for it, 50 gold pieces. And don't get the idea of making trouble here. Are all your girls accounted for? Of course they are. Or do you think I want to go to jail over something like that? Uh, I wasn't asking about your payroll. I mean, are they all present, or have any gone missing? 
Oh yeah, actually, one of my girls has up and left. Her name's Lucia. I reported it to the militia too, but they claim they haven't found a trace of her yet. How long has Lucia been missing? That's an open secret. Several days. I don't know exactly how long. I assume she ran off with one of her suitors, eh? That beach made off with part of my savings, a really valuable golden dish, eh? If I get out of her, I give her what for. So how is that any business of yours, huh? Do you want to have fun or not? Hey, you! Hey, I can't take care of you now, baby. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. I just want to ask you a few questions about That's those missing I people. Know. I could tell you a thing or two, but not here, honey. Then let's go upstairs. Fine, but you get it settled with Bromar first. I don't want any trouble. I used to say that myself. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. You look a little worse for wear. Haven't slept in a long time, have you? Too long, I should say. Come on, step closer. With me, you'll find what you're looking for. It's not what I heard. You said that you've got what I need. Does that include information? But of course. What is it you want to know? Nothing amazing me if I don't have enough. Are there any other traders here at the harbor? If you keep to the left at the key, You'll find Helvor, my husband. He sells fish. On the other side, there's Brahim, the cartographer. Do you know anyone from the upper quarter? <laughs> if I knew anyone up there, I wouldn't be standing here, my boy. What interesting things are there to see around the harbor? Well, if you're looking for some action, you can go down to Cardiff's Inn at the Quay. There's always something brewing there. You can hardly miss it. The guy standing by the entrance there will certainly draw your attention to it. Besides that, there's the large ship of the Paladins, the King's Stately War Galley. That one's really worth seeing. You'll find it if you keep left at the quay and then pass under the high rock face. Has anything exciting happened lately? You could say so. It wasn't that long ago. A thief ran by here. He must have stolen a bow in the lower part of the city. Of course, the militia came here way too late, like always. He got away from them, just jumped into the harbor, and he was gone. Show me your wares. Hey! That only caused me Vatra problem. sent me. He told me to come to you when I needed help. So you've already been to see Vatras? You must have made a lasting impression on him. Otherwise, he certainly wouldn't have volunteered my name. Especially not since the matter with those missing people still hasn't been resolved. Tell me what you need. Vatras gave me this ornament to bring to you. He said it is to be taken back. Of course. It's up to me as usual. I might have known. I'll have to walk halfway across the island to take it back to the water mages. Let's wait and see what happens. You hardly know who to believe I can take the ornament there for you. Hmm. Do you really think? I think I had better take it there myself. But you could come with me. Only, I can't leave here at the moment. I need to keep an eye on the harbor. That was obvious all along. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I can't talk about that. Fatras would have my head. That's totally obvious. You hardly know who to believe these days. I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? I hardly know who to believe these days. What exactly about some better armor? Hmm. 
Mateo sells armor, but he'll probably charge you an arm and a leg for it. There is a way you could get it cheaper, though, if you don't mind pulling a fast one on the militia. What do you mean? There's a storage area next to Mateo's house, but all the merchandise has been confiscated by the militia. Go to Zurus at the marketplace and get yourself a sleeping spell. Then you send the guards off to Dreamland. I'm sure you'll find some decent armor among Mateo's stock. I need a better weapon. There's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Have you tried the marketplace? Who said that? He never would have thought of that I need himself. some money. Don't we all? Sorry, but I have none to give you. But Lamar, the money lender, still owes me a favor. Go to him and borrow whatever money you need. I'll take care of the rest. You'll find Lamar in the harbor district, where it borders on the lower part of town. As if I didn't have enough problems. I'm no better off myself. Do you really think? I must talk to the paladins, by any means. What do you want from them? They've got a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. I must have it. And you think they'll give it to you? You'll never get into the upper end of town. As if I didn't have enough problems. Do you know why the paladins are here? Nobody knows for sure. Lots of people think it's because of the orcs, but I think there's another reason. It probably has something to do with the old penal colony. As if I didn't have enough problems. I never knew that. That's exactly what I said. Is it really true? So what's your business with Vatras? I've got this little agreement with the water mages, you see. What kind of an agreement? We work for them, and they see to it that our past in the penal colony doesn't get us into trouble. You're talking about the Ring of Water? You've heard of it? Vatras told me about it. You might have mentioned that right away. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. The Ring is to the Water Mages what the Paladins are to the Fire Magicians. But, unlike the Paladins, we operate in the background. The Ring is a mighty weapon in the battle against the dangers that threaten the people of Corinus. But this only works as long as we keep the identity of all those secret who belong to the Ring of Water. So keep this to yourself. Sure. Why haven't I heard about this before? Was obvious all along. I want to join the That's Ring of Water. That's fine with me, but the decision about whether you will be accepted or not lies with the Water Mages alone. As if I didn't have enough problems. That was obvious what did along. you do to impress the Water Mages? I protected them for a long time when we were still living with the barrier, and they have plenty of reason to be grateful to me. What's it like to belong to the Ring? We are very different from the usual communities you can join here in Corinus. Once you're one of us, we're not going to ask anything of you that you are not ready to do. The only thing we truly require of you is to keep quiet. We work in secret and do not want to let outsiders know who our members are. We shall keep an eye on you. Everything else remains to be seen. I see. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I'm doing what we all do. I fulfill the tasks the water mages give me. Some of the missing people were fishermen. They disappeared along with their boats. That's why I'm standing here, watching the harbor. Maybe something will happen yet, but you could help me. Listen, I shall give you my aquamarine ring. It signifies that the bearer belongs to the ring of water. If you wear my ring, the rest of us will know that you're acting on my behalf. Get someone to take over my duties so that I can take the ornament back. One of us is always keeping an eye on the marketplace, but I don't know whose turn it is. You had better go talk to all those standing around there. Once the right man sees my aquamarine ring on you, he will let you know. Tell him to see to it that somebody else takes over here at the harbor. Tell me more about Lee and his mercenaries. What do you want to know? 
How do I find the landowner's farm? It's quite simple. You leave the seaport by the east gate and then follow the path towards the east. I can take you there if you want. Tell me more about the mercenaries. Well, if you're as tough as you were back then, you shouldn't have any problems with them. Most of them are ruffians, and if you can't stand up to them, you won't get far. <laughs> if you're squeamish, you don't have a chance of joining them. Why aren't you with Lee and his mercenaries? But I am, just not on the farm. You could say I'm our outpost in the city. We don't want the ship to sail without us. What ship were you talking about? It's on the open sea harbor, behind the cliffs. Lee and a few of his people really want to get away from here. But that could take a while. Why? You'd better ask Lee about that. If you meet him, he's got plans. About those missing people. But tell me what you know. The first was William, one of the fishermen here in Corinus. One day, he simply didn't return. At first, we thought that one of those sea monsters out there had eaten him in his boat for breakfast. But not too long afterwards, other people started disappearing from the town and the surroundings. Pretty random events, though. Everyone's at a loss so far. The way it looks, we'll just have to wait until we finally stumble across a clue. Isn't this a case for the militia? The militia is pretty useless if you ask me. They're never going to clear this up. The missing people have just vanished into thin air. Can you teach me something? Sure. I can help you become stronger and more dexterous if you like. Hey! Hey, you! Oh, hi, you landlubber. Looks like you're stranded here. You look a bit pale around the gills. Never mind, my lad. All you need is a good stiff sea breeze. What are you doing here? Back when I was a young man, I went to sea and rode through many a big storm. No big deal, not at all. But that old tower came closest to what I call a home. I haven't been up there in ages. Why not? Ever since these scallywags took over my lighthouse, I haven't dared get closer to it than 20 feet. Really bad rabble, that. They're criminals from the Valley of Mind, you know. There was this big bang on the other side of the mountains, and they swarmed all over the land like flies. Now they're hiding out everywhere, even in my lighthouse. I think they're on the lookout for any ship they can raid. Ah, let them. Then at least they'd be out of my tower. Do you come to town often? I always say a town is only as good as its harbor. A harbor is the gate to the world. That's where everyone meets and where everything starts. Once the harbor goes to the dogs, the rest of the city will follow soon. Tell me about the harbor. The harbor of Corinus isn't what it used to be. There's nothing but riffraff hanging about. The ships don't come anymore and trade is dead. This harbor is about to go under. So why don't you leave? Nobody would take an old sea dog like me on his ship these days. Most people think that old Jack's got the gout in his rotten old bones. And are they right? Balderdash. Once I've got those planks beneath me feet again, I'll feel like a young whippersnapper.
What do you mean by riffraff? Look at them, the lazy rabble. Most of them don't even know what work is. All they do is drink all day and spend their last pay at the brothel. I tell you, stay away from them. Why are the ships no longer coming? They all say that once the war is over, everything will be like it used to be. That's a load of bilge water. I tell you, a sailor can see when a town's going downhill. A sailor feels that in his blood. And I can tell you, forget about this harbor. It's heyday's over. Wait a minute. All kinds of rumors. Let's wait and see what happens. What are you doing here? My name is Brahim. I draw maps and sell them. Since you're new here, maybe you could use a map of the city? It's quite affordable and very useful until you know your way around. I could have told you that before. Is it true that some townspeople have simply vanished? So I've heard. But I'm not sure whether it's really true. Just look around you. Does this rat hole look like the place where you want to spend your golden years? <laughs> Small wonder that people are getting themselves out of here. Show me your maps. Do you really think? got my own opinion about that. Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then. Hey, you. You have no business up here. Only paladins and those of us in the militia have access here. What's up here, then? This is the provisions store of the Royal Guard of the Paladins. I am the provisions master here, and I'm responsible for seeing to it that none of the paladin stuff goes astray, and you're not wanted here. So keep your hands to yourself, or I'll chop them off. Can you sell me any of the Paladin stuff? You want to buy? Hmm. Let's say that if you could compensate me for the trouble that will arise from the Paladin's things wandering off, then we might be able to do business. Does that happen often? Things going astray? As long as the Provisions Master says that everything is right, no. I see. You're looking for the man who is selling weapons to the bandits? Says who? Says Vatras. Oh. What do you know about it? Not much, but I could find out more. Ah. Is that so? It was just like you said. Tell me, what do you know about the weapons dealer? Listen, we know that an influential citizen in the upper quarter must be behind it. And some of the weapons are even supposed to have come from the militia's supplies. We still don't know exactly who's behind it. If you have enough goods to take on a group of at least five bandits, maybe you can find out. What about the bandits? We know that the bandits are currently blockading the roads that connect the farmers to the city. Besides that, I know that there must have been a weapons delivery in the last few days. Maybe some clues to uncover the weapons dealer can be found with the bandits. Hey, you! You're a fisherman? Now how did you ever guess that? Can't you simply leave me alone? Don't take it personally, 
But I haven't been too happy lately. It's that militia. Trouble with the militia? Those bastards keep coming here and taking whatever they want. Last week, they made off with my entire catch. It's for a good cause, they said. I know that everybody's got to fend for himself since the farmers have stopped trading. And, of course, sometimes people just go hungry. Small wonder that they're snatching the fish from right under my nose. But if they keep doing this, I won't even have enough to feed myself. Have you talked to the paladins about this? <laughs> Are you joking? Do you really think they'd be interested if a poor devil like me has his problems with the militia? Maybe I can help you. I don't know. I suppose you'd have to know somebody from the militia who has connections to the paladins. The paladins will hardly buy the fish from me. I shall see what I can do. So, how are the fish biting? I've seen better times. Too little to live on, too much to die. Can you tell me something about the missing people? My friend William started hanging out with a bunch of shady characters. And where did it get him? One day, he simply didn't show up for work. And that's the last we saw of him. Your buddy William has disappeared? So he has. He's a fisherman, but a little too big for his boots, I should add. He should have stayed well away from that bunch. When did you last see him? Only a few days ago. Maybe he just went out to sea to fish. That's not very likely. His boat is still moored in the harbor. What's he been up to? William had some shady dealings with those crooks. I think it was all about contraband that he sold to the bastards. He'll surface again. I don't think so. He's been gone for too long already. I'm afraid that I'll be dragging his body from the sea at some point. What bastards would those be? I don't know who they are or what their business is here in Corinus. I only know the place where they met up with William. I just happened to see William there when I was fishing in the bay. Where exactly is that meeting place? There's a bay opposite the harbor, north of here. You can only reach it by boat or swim. There's a beach there and a small fishing camp. That's where I saw them. I think I've heard enough. Spare yourself the effort. I don't believe you'll find him.
same old thing all over again. Where did you pick that up? It was his decision, wasn't it? Tharam the fisherman has problems with the militia. The boys are constantly stealing from him. And what do I have to do with it? You have a certain amount of influence up here with the paladins. Faram needs your protection. He's willing to give you a part of his catch for it. I see what you mean. Fish. As if I didn't have enough crap to deal with. Tell your pal he should come to me and tell me exactly what's up with the militia. I'll take care of it. Uh, about the weapons dealer? What was that again? Listen, you're supposed to find out who's behind the weapons deliveries to the bandits and bring me proof. But it has to be really incriminating evidence, otherwise I can't arrest the guy. Hey, you! I know how to resolve your trouble with the militia. And how would that be? Martin, the provisions master of the paladins, wants to hear your story about the militia and the fish. And you think he can make the militia leave me alone? At least, that's what he said. Great! Thank you! I cannot give you much, but wait! I found this strange blue stone on one of the islands off the coast of Corinus. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but someone like you will certainly find a use for it. His deeds were just. It was his decision, wasn't it? Tell me that isn't true. That's really not my problem. I don't believe this is going to change. You already know hey, I don't know you. What do you want here? That's Are you headed for the trouble. tavern? That's exactly what I said. I could have told totally you. Yes, do you mind? You've got no business here, Rutt. Some problem solving this forever. Calm down. All I want to do is drink a beer. Okay, but it'll cost you 50 gold pieces to it get in. You already know what's happening in that. Forget it. You won't get a you single coin. Then I'll take everything you have. About that. As soon as you're lying on the ground in front of me. All kinds of listen to me. And now for some action. And now for Don't stop now! Don't stop now! Don't stop now. What you waiting him. for? Finish him! Oh. What Finish you waiting him. for? Ah! Give it your all! What you waiting for? Get it your all! Shut up now! Ah, show Slim. him! Don't show him now! Don't Get stop him. now! Don't Finish stop him. now! Don't show stop him. now! Get 
Give it your all. Give it your all. That hit the spot. I don't believe this is going to change. You hey, I don't know you. What do you want here? Are you headed that? for the Trouble tavern? Is. Don't is say you didn't know that. Yes, do you mind? You've got no Let's business see, here, right? I could have told you that. I get so worked up. Are you trying to make trouble for me? Sure, I'm a master at making trouble. So defend yourself, runt. You should have known. Give it your all. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. Yeah, that's the ticket. Slug him now. Finish him. the ticket. Don't stop now. Get him now. Oh, Wait, it's the ticket. Give it your all. Slug him now. Don't stop now. Finish him. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. I'd have done it differently. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost ten gold pieces. Is it really true? It can't go on like this forever. I'll give you no more than five for your information. What? Five gold pieces? Are you trying to ruin me? Let's make it seven. No, it doesn't work that way. Let's say six. You're a scoundrel, you know that? Well, if you insist, let's say six gold pieces for each piece of information. Who said that? I need information. What do you know about the missing citizens? All I know is that some people have vanished during the last few days. It's especially bad down here at the harbor, they say. Maybe you should ask around here a bit. There were some cases in the lower part of the city, too. If you want to know more, you should talk to Corrigan. He has his tavern in the lower part of town, and he's likely to hear a thing or two. Halvor, the fish merchant down by the quay, might know something, too. Many people frequent him. Is it really true? Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsman in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. Don't tell me you didn't know that. That's nothing new. Will it ever change? Is there any special work to be had around here, where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. I don't know who to believe these days. Go talk to Nagur, then. Maybe he can help you. Is it really true? Let's wait and see what happens. Will it ever change? That's exactly what I said. Give me something to drink. Hey, is it really true? 
Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. So you're looking for a special job. Okay. But we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. We're business partners, so it's 50-50. Okay. I thought I'd give it a shot. Of course, we'll split our profits fairly. I don't want to hear that. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Baltram, don't you? If not, it's time you talk to him. This Baltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Baltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Baltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me, and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? Nobody will learn anything from me. How much will the profit be? I can't say exactly, but I estimate around 400 gold pieces. As if I did Where is Akil's farm? Leave the city by the east gate. That's directly on the marketplace. If you follow the road to the right, you'll soon come to a few steps cut into the rock. Go up there, and you'll come to Akil's farm. When should I talk to Baltram? You can go right away. He should know by now that his messenger won't be showing up anymore. <laughs> you don't have to ask me. I never knew that. Where can I find Baltram? He has his stall in the marketplace. Well then, I'm all set. Good. Then get in your way. But if you try to cheat me, you'll soon be every bit as dead as the messenger. Don't forget. There have been all kinds of rumors. But no, he insisted he knew better. I could have told you that. What are you doing here? What am I supposed to do here? I'm drinking. But if you mean, what do I do all day? I arrange fights. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. Behind the warehouse in the harbor district, Home sweet home. That's totally what are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed. No bows or crossbows and no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get a hundred back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. Got it? Yep. You live behind the warehouse? It's only temporary. When you have as much gold as I do, you can afford a little luxury. I was a drill instructor in the army, but I left that bunch to seek my fortune in adventure. Now I've wound up in this shithole. My last 100 gold pieces went to the guards at the city gate. So, I'm seeing to it that I come into money again. I even had to sell my sword. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jora. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. What do you know about the war against the orcs? There's not much to tell. The war has been going on for too long. The country people are starving. Everywhere there are peasant revolts that are put down mercilessly by the king. But there's just too many of them. If the war doesn't end soon, the realm will fall apart. Can you train me? If you really want to learn how to fight, then go up against me. The lesson is no extra charge. Oh, 
All right, all right, you win. What do you want? You know your way about the harbor, don't you? Sure thing. Why? I didn't get that from me. What kind of rumors are floating about? Around here, we don't like people who ask too many questions. Especially not if they're strangers. I could have told you that like you said. Why don't I see any militia? They don't dare you come in here. That. We take care of things ourselves. You don't have get to that from me. How's the shipping traffic? The only ship that's come here recently is the Paladin's ship. It's over there, behind the rocky ridge to the southwest. Maybe that be a problem. It can't go on like this forever. Nobody ever asked. So sure. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? It's about a sacred artifact, the Eye of Enos. The Eye of Enos. I have never heard of it, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. If there truly is an artifact of this name, only the highest members of our order would know anything about it. In any case, that's why I have to talk to Lord Hagen himself. Lord Hagen receives only paladins, or those who are in the service to paladins. It is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. Why are you paladins in town? The goals of our mission are secret. I can only tell you that there is no danger for the citizens of the town. You need not worry. I want to take up service with the Paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the Paladins, I shall help you get an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable, but orders are orders. What should I expect with the militia? Let me make one thing clear. To be a soldier of the militia means much more than strolling through the city in a uniform. It is a dirty and even bloody job. Once you are one of us, a great deal of work will be waiting for you. But it is worth it. Besides the pay, you might someday have the chance of becoming a holy warrior of Innos. Is there a faster way to join you? Hmm. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Good. Listen, I have a problem. If you solve it for me, I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia. But the most important thing is, you must not breathe a word of it to anyone. What's your problem? Recently, there have been a number of thefts in the city. Thus far, we have not been able to capture anyone. The thieves are simply too skillful. The scum know their business. I'm sure that we're dealing with an organized gang. It would not amaze me if there were a thieves' guild in Corinus, Find the leaders of the gang and hunt them down. Then I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia, regardless of whether or not you are a citizen. But you must say nothing about our agreement. Where should I start looking for the thieves? If I knew that, I'd go there myself. 
I can only tell you this much. We recently turned the entire harbor district upside down and found nothing. Absolutely nothing. The people there are not very talkative, particularly if you wear the armor of a paladin. But you are an outsider. They will not distrust you so quickly. You could ask around the harbor first, but be careful. If the people there realize that you are working for the paladins, you will learn nothing. What should I do once I've found one of the thieves? If it's a matter of a lackey, a henchman, or some small fry, it would be best if you avoid a fight. You should rather come to me and report. I shall then see to it that the fellow winds up behind bars. The city guard could intervene in an open battle, and you would not have the opportunity of explaining to them what is going on. Furthermore, there is a bounty for every rotten apple you put behind bars. However, if you locate the leader's hideout, well, then you probably won't be able to avoid a fight. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? Do you have proof of that? She has a letter in her pocket which details the delivery of arms to him. She won't get away with that. I shall have her arrested. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Nagura has killed Baltram's messenger. He tried to use me as his new messenger in order to intercept Akil's shipment. That fellow will get his just punishment. I shall have him locked up immediately. Here, take the bounty that you are entitled to. About those missing people. Just leave me alone with that. I've got other problems. The citizens of this city who have martial skills at their disposal are here with urge to join the royal militia. Do you really believe that? Now that's typical, isn't it? I'd have gone about it differently. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Hey, come closer. Take a break and have a sip of cool beer. Lord Andre is springing for a few barrels of free beer.
That's what I've always said. It can't go on like this forever. These are bad times.
Guess you would. Never pick a fight with me again. Nothing to be had there. Oh, man, my head. Wait a minute. Completely. 